All right, so this is just a really quick video. I wanted to show uh, really the difference between uh, some brazing and soft solder products uh, by Harris. So uh, what you're looking at here is a train A coil. It's a two and a half ton unit. And uh, that's the actual train uh, air handler model number 4TE3F31A1000AB. And this is out of a heat pump. So uh, it has a TXV right here. And it also has this uh, check valve. So when it runs in uh, heat pump mode, it doesn't mess up the whole system. But really what I wanted to show you is uh, at least on the outside, the difference between uh, the brazing and soft solder. So we uh, were not very good at uh, brazing, but we, we burned up one of these valves and we had to replace it with a second brand new one. And the first time we uh, used uh, map gas uh, with uh, Silfos 15% uh, brazing rod and it just it cooked the valve. Uh, but the second time we prepped everything really well using these uh, ACR fittings and uh, we used a little bit of the uh, Harris Stay Clean, the red, uh, the red flux, and then we use uh, Stay Bright 8 on these connections. So there and there, there and there. And you can see just how clean it is. Now, we purged nitrogen through everything because there were other parts where we brazed. On this, uh, this T fitting here, we brazed uh, that little pipe on there, uh, which is actually a reducer. And then we brazed this reducer onto the distributor. And we used a Harris blockade for that. And you can tell because it kind of has this brassy, goldish look on there. So because that distributor is made of brass, and then we use copper fittings. Uh, it worked really well for that. And we use the same blockade product uh, brazing with a, it's a turbo torch attached to a map gas cylinder, double headed torch, STK11. It gets really, really hot. Uh, we braze that, that, and then we braze in this check valve here as well. You can just see how messy, how messy it is. Now it doesn't look like that on the inside again, because we purged nitrogen through here. We had it on, on a low nitrogen flow for brazing, but even with uh, the nitrogen just look how clean it is at the TXV and we went with soft solder at the TXV because we actually used propane uh, to do this and you can see how clean it is uh, with propane uh, the power head and the valve got very it was kept very cool we had a wet rag that we kept uh, water on it I actually prefer a, a rag saturated with water over the wet rag or heat block compound and so it always leaves residue but it worked really really well and then up here you can see, uh, here we used a blockade uh, product as well, um, a brazing rod, and we used uh, map gas with a turbo torch for that as well. That worked really well. That's a brace joint, and then that's a brace joint there as well. Uh, and then we just uh, pressure tested this thing with, uh, we just crimped off uh, a tubing extension and then uh, uh, brazed that on there. And right now it has uh, 300 PSI of uh, nitrogen in there and uh boy it, it, it it's great this is a really old system uh this system was uh this coil came out of a, a 2008 uh manufacturer year and uh she's still going strong so came out of a burnout unit so we put a new txv and then uh we'll be uh using a bunch of filter dryers on the suction and liquid lines but all in all pretty good the only thing we need to do is uh, I actually want to wrap some of these uh, capillary tubes here to keep them from rubbing against any other uh, metal surface just to keep them uh, from getting any more damage than they are. You can see there's some copper corrosion already on here. Uh, but yeah, pretty good. So got the, uh, got the sensing bulb on here. I did sand uh, this down with some memory cloth and underneath the sensing bulb as well. Got it on there real tight. And uh, next, I'm going to be wrapping it with uh, this heat wrap. Uh, it's a sticky on one side heat wrap. And then I'll be using uh, this, which uh, just slides over the whole thing. As you can see right there. And you just make a hole in there and a hole in there for the, uh, for the uh, suction line. And we'll have a really nice, uh, really nice A-coil. We've cleaned it as well, but uh, hey, uh, a lot better than paying $1,000 for a new one. So, yep, 
that's just our experience using uh, the Stabrite 8 uh, versus the blockade. I had my doubts about it, but 300 PSI uh, holding this thing. We leak tested it. We put Rector Seal bubble leak detector over everything. Uh, everything's absolutely, absolutely perfect. So uh, great stuff.